Hi everybody, so pleased to see you. I'd like to read you a story today and the story I've chosen is called Cuddly Dudley and it's all about a penguin. It's written by Jez Albrecht and he's written lots and lots of books. A lot of them have been about teddies but this one is about a penguin. Here he is. That's Cuddly Dudley. This is Dudley here. Dudley loved to play. He loved to play jumping and diving and splashing. But most of all, Dudley loved to play all by himself. In this picture, you can just see him. He's right in the middle of the pool, all on his own. The trouble was, Dudley was such a lovely, cuddly penguin. Wherever he went, his brothers and sisters found him. They couldn't resist having a cuddle and a waddle and a cuddle with him. Go away, Dudley would say. Leave me alone. We can't, came the reply. You're just too cuddly, Dudley. I'm fed up with all your huddling and waddling and cuddling, said Dudley one day. I'm going to find a place where I can play all on my own. And off he went. There he is. He waddled and toddled for many, many miles until quite by chance he found a little wooden hut which just looked perfect for a penguin. And it seemed to be empty. At last, said Dudley, a place of my own, a place where I can jump about all day without being disturbed. Just then, there came a rat tap tap at the little wooden door. It's us, said two of Dudley's sisters. We followed your waddle prints. Can we come up? No, you jolly well can't, said Dudley. I'm very busy and I don't want to be disturbed, so please go away. And he shut the little wooden door and was alone once more. At last, said Dudley, a house of my own, a place where I can splash about all day without being... Just then... There came another rat-tat-tat at the little wooden door. Dudley doesn't look very happy, does he? It's us, said his brothers and sisters. We followed your waddle prints. Can we come in and... No, you jolly well can't, said Dudley. I don't want to huddle and waddle and cuddle. So for the very last time, stop following me around. He slammed the little wooden door and was alone once more. <sighs> At last, sighed Dudley, a house of my own. <laughs> Went the little wooden door. That does it, he said. When I catch those penguins, I'll... But it wasn't the penguins. At the little wooden door. It was... A great big man. My word, said the great big man. What an adorable little penguin. Give us a cuddle, he cried, and chased Dudley all round the house and out into the snow. Dudley ran and ran and escaped from the man. Then he decided to head back home. But which way was home? 
crunch, 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 went Dudley, looking for some waddle prints to follow. When night came, he was still alone and completely lost. And now, for the first time, he was lonely. He climbed a hill to get a better view. Can you see him? He's really lost in all that snow. When he got to the top, he saw an enormous orange moon with hundreds of tiny sparkling stars all huddled around. There's Dudley. Excuse me, said a penguin from the foot of the hill. Have you finished being alone yet? Only we wondered now that you're back, if you wouldn't mind whether we could. It's just that you're so, so cuddly, shouted Dudley. And he bounced down the hill so fast, as fast as he could. Then Dudley and all his brothers and sisters had the best huddling, waddling, cuddling they had ever had. Until... I wonder what's going to happen now. <gasps> Give us a cuddle! There's Dudley, leading the way, all trying to escape those cuddles. Do you like cuddles? I really like cuddles. I hope you have lots of cuddles today. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.